Welcome to Mighty Car Mods, proudly supported by Just Car Insurance. Now I've got a great idea, imagine if you could just simplify your life a little bit and get in your car and when you turn the key, instead of it actually starting, you've got to use your other hand to then go and press a button before it starts. Now that isn't actually simple, I was being facetious, that's stupid. Yeah, it's like going to open your door and instead of just pulling the handle you have to like hold the mirror at the same time. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of but a whole bunch of people have been asking for it. So today we're going to show you how to install a start button, this is ridiculous. Today we're working on the blue turd. So here are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a drill to make a hole in your dash. You're going to need some snippers and a file to clean up that hole. You need some wire strippers, you need some tape, some soldering gear. You need a multimeter and we're going to go through that a bit later in the episode exactly how to do it. And you're going to need your start button. What did I say that was weird? Oh, uh, this is going to be used to clean up your hole. Here, yeah, can we leave that in there? Can we? That's mad. Now the first thing to choose is where you're actually going to mount the start button. Now you can put it anywhere you like, you can even run it through to the boot with your battery relocation if you like. There, not too high. There, too low. There, not too lame. We were thinking about putting it here, just near the keys, but it kind of doesn't make sense to start the car and then move your hand over and start with the same hand. If you want to be extra cool, uh, we reckon you've got to start it with this hand and then reach over and hit it with this uh, with the left hand. Now, if you want to go GTR style, the R35 GTR one is down here, but we don't actually have any space. So we think we're going to put it just here. There's a spare panel. We're going to put that in there, get your start button, kind of hold it up and see what you think it looks like. And if you're happy with that, uh, then you can start modding your car with the start button that doesn't actually do anything except start your car, which it already did. As with all electrical modifications, first disconnect your battery. Once you turn your key on, then your car will sound like this. Bruton. Bruton. What does that mean, man? Measure up your start button or use the supplied template that we didn't get because we bought ours second hand. We made our own template using an old cereal box. So next you've got to make a hole for your start button. We're going to be using a drill. You can use a soldering iron to melt your way through the plastic, but I wouldn't recommend it because it ruins your soldering iron. And it stinks, Martin, doesn't it? Oh, it stinks real bad. It's bad it's for the, the planet. Burning plastic stinks bad. Drill some small holes, then use some side cutters to chop out the dash. That's the wrong sized hole. I'm trying to be conservative so I didn't make a hole too big like last time. And it's just, just small. Do you want me to do it? No. I've said it before, but having a car like this is so awesome to learn mods on. It's a $5 dash. You get another one for five bucks. Fix it if you stuff it up. Cool, so if you want to go Civic style, then that's already done, the visual mod is done and now you can impress all your friends that don't know better. Uh, but if you actually want it to work, uh, now we've got to wire it up. Remember that a start button does the exact same thing as turning your key onto the start position, so you're just adding another switch. So a key barrel is pretty much just a three position switch and hanging off the back of the key barrel is a bunch of wires. Now we need to tap into two of those wires using the control box from our start button. Those two blue wires is a relay and when you hit the start button it closes the circuit which activates the starter. So that's what we've got to hack into up there behind our ignition barrel. You need to set your multimeter to volts DC, ground the black wire on something metal and then find which wires from the key barrel have 12 volts when you turn the key. If you've got a wiring diagram it may save you some time, otherwise go through each wire one by one with a multimeter until you find one that has 12 volts when the key is turned to start. 
If you're doing it this way, remember to reconnect your battery. Next up, you have to bridge the starter circuit to a ground wire to activate it. One start switch wire goes to the black ground wire and the other goes to the start motor circuit. Our start button also requires 12 volts when the key is in the on position so it lights up. It's important to solder and use heat shrink where possible so you don't have any starting issues. Alright, so we've wired in a power and an earth into the control box for the start button. All that's left to do is connect the button to that control box and it should work. Is it going to work, Martin? It is going to work. If I can plug this in, it'll work. You sound confident, Martin. No, check it out, man. Ready? All right, that's in. It's yep. meant to go blue, though. Watch this, mate. Blue? It's blue, Martin. You can't use it to stop the car. That's worth noting. I like it, Martin. So do I. In the Civic, it was a joke. In this car, it's OK. You can use the key as well, in the boat. Yeah. I call that double reality, Martin. I call that a start button. Put your dash back together and then go and impress everybody by showing them how you need two hands to start your car instead of one. This is a simple project that costs next to nothing. Now you can impress your mates that don't know better and pretend you've got a Honda. And what is cooler than that? You know what happens when you use your spade bit, Mark. Yeah, but the spade... Stop whinging about the it. The spade bit's mad. Just you wrecked our last car. Oh, our, our awesome Civic. I loved that Civic. You did not. It's a freaking lie. I hated it. It's the worst car I've ever owned, man. Yeah, I was glad to see the back of it. But you wrecked it. By bloody putting holes in the dash, Martin. Yeah, that really wrecked it. Yeah, it Nothing. did. The carbon fibre roll cage didn't wreck it. It didn't work properly. The muffler that was noisy and crap. And then sprayed the whole car with nightshade, Martin. And yeah, whose idea was that? That was my idea. I started it. I That's finished. why you wrecked it. <laughs>